Hi there. So I'm working on this still. I think the modeling's pretty much done. But, um, I mean, there's more I can do, of course. There's always more you can do. But is it really going to matter? Is it going to add any more detail to it? I think for now that's probably good enough. Um, I, I always like to kind of add more detail once the entire scene is in, and then you kind of see what um, where your eye goes in the scene and if there's enough detail and everything. So um, I'll wait to do that. So what let's do is let's uh, begin UV mapping it. Um, I'll go ahead and go over the UV editing screen layout here. And oh, I've done a little changing of things. Here we go. Okay. No, nope, that's not what I want. It's over here. There we go. All right. Um, I will maybe, maybe I'll isolate it. You can hit that division key and isolate it. There we go. Um, I also, let me take a look at the uh, shading here. I'm going to turn on cavity. And how about world? Yeah, I kind of like that. I'm able to see it a little bit better like that. Okay. So let's do a little UV mapping. Um, what do I want to start with? Maybe I'll start with just these doors. Let's go ahead and um, well, I'm going to close this up here. Join that there. Okay. So let's uh, just UV map these things. Uh, let's try angle based. Nope. Conformal. Uh, where? So it looks like it needs to be spun around. That's the, well, no, that's the bottom. That's the bottom. Okay. That's fine. Let's go ahead and move that over here. Let's do the same thing with this. And. That's the bottom there too. Okay. So, boom, garage doors, done. Um, these guys, let's see what these guys, you know, I could, I could just have one of these UV map that one and then duplicate all the others, but I'm afraid there'd be a little bit too much of a repeat there. I'll go ahead and do them all individually that's fine let's do that um, unwrap those I'll spin them around okay there are the windows those look fine um, how about the front of this I, I think I am going to need edges here and edges here marked as seams. So let's go ahead and do that. Mark seam. Um, I think up here, looking at this, I'm going to go ahead and grab these. Let's mark a seam there as well. Um, should I split these out? Why not? Let's do that. Um, well, we've pretty much blocked that out the front except for this top seam. Let's go ahead and grab these edges right here and let's mark these as seams. Um, I think that'll help. Um, now we're probably going to want to mark the seams around these guys too, aren't we? Split that out from the trim of the garage door. Oh, looks like I... What happened there? Oh, I see. Let me try that again. So grab that. Mark seam. Let's do this one as well. Okay, now the windows and doors. Um, 
Let's select that whole edge around there and mark that as a seam. In the same way, let's grab this around the door. And let's do the same thing in here. So I'm just trying to break out the windows and the doors for now. See how that's going to work. And in here like that. Okay. So, is that everything? Well, there's one way to find out, isn't there? Let's hit the L key, and I'm going to turn on seam right here, and that should just select that front. And it does. That's good. So let's go ahead. Um, you know what? Let me check my scale. Okay, my scale is all ones. That's good. That's going to help. Let's go ahead and unwrap this. Kind of ugly. Uh, let's try angle-based. Not great. What's the problem here? What's going on over here? Let's. Um, I'm going to turn this off and take a look at this. Um, yeah, that's, frankly, pretty ugly. So, what let's do is I'm going to I guess I'll UV map it from the straight from here, from the side view or the right orthographic, and I'll go ahead and project from view. And there we go. That's a lot better. Now let's. Um, we need to take that trim that's around the w w the windows and doors. And we need to pull them in some. So what let's do is come over here and let's select these edges. So like this edge here, let's select that all the way around. And I'll hit that. And so what we want to do here, I think, let me try this. Yeah. That's not going to work. Well, okay, so let's do that. No. So what I'm trying to do is figure out a way to bring these in. And I think what I should do, well, okay, so let's select this. And maybe I can go to edges and let's select... Let me see if I can, there it is. Let's try this. Let me pull that. Yeah, see, so that's, yeah, but see, that's pulling that in here. I don't like that. Okay, so I think what I'll do is just split them out so I can pull them in a bit. Let's do that. Let's mark that, and then let me try this. I'm going to try and select that whole thing again. Let's um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. Well, let me let me test something. Okay, that does pull it out there. But what's interesting is you would think I had pulled those out. Oh, I see. Okay. Yep. I need to grab these edges here, like this. Now let's mark those seams. And then, there we go. Now let's try this. I'm just going to unwrap that. And then... Oh, uh, I didn't get those in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now let's go U, unwrap. There they are. So now they, now they hop over there. All right, let's go ahead and do that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break these out on their own. So, yeah. 
that's what I'll do. So what I'm going to do instead of all that is I'm going to first of all select this and then unwrap this project from view. Okay. Then I'm going to move this out of the way. Then I'm going to grab all of these. So yeah, you'd knew s sooner or later I'd figure it out, right? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to select this and this and this and this. And I'm going to split these out like that. And uh, so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm selecting the edges all the way ar around the kind of the, uh, the, the outside of the trim. And then these corners as well. And so all of these will be split out as their own pieces. At least that's the plan. All right. Let's get this going here. And we'll see how this is going to work. Okay, mark seam. Now, I select this guy. So we have that. Now um, I'm going to select these pieces all the way around each of the doors and windows. Like this. Like this. Now let's UV map these on their own. There we go. Okay. So here is what we have so far. Uh, let me get rid of this selection real quick. Grab these and move these out here. Okay. So these are going to have to be pretty small, of course, and I think they're going to be arranged pretty well the way they are. But we'll have to see. Okay. So what else is left to do? Let's border select these. Turn on that. Border select these. Border select these. And what is left over is what we need to do. Okay. So it looks like the trim for the garage doors. Let's go ahead and work on that. We've got that split out. What about, let's try this edge and this edge. Yep. Okay. Now let's select all of these. Let's try and unwrap them. Yep. There we go. Let's get these out of the way. Okay. Um, the window and door here. I feel like the window is going to want to be its own thing, you know? Like, oh. do this, mark seam there. And then these, I think, are going to need to be marked on their own as well. Let's do that. Okay, so let's try this. I'm going to select all of these parts here. Unwrap these. Let's move them to one side. There we go. So as you can see, I'm just building everything out and then we'll put it all into the zero to one space when we're done here. One thing at a time. Um, let's try these. I'll mark seams for these. And um, I think I'll go ahead and break these out as well along the corners. Maybe even along here. Let's try this. And down here. Let's 
Okay. So let's try, um, what do we want to do here? We want to do these. Oops, be it looks like I missed a seam. Yeah, right here. Let's select these two. Mark a seam there, and then if I select it, yeah. Yeah, those are good. What about these? Oh, I did the same thing here. But do I want that? You know what? I think I want those continuous. I think I want these to be cleared, and then I want that piece to be continuous right down here. So I want this to be continuous. So I'm going to put the seam right here instead, you know? Let's try this. Yeah, I feel like that's probably going to be a little bit better. Let's try this. So I need to go here, here, and here. All right. Okay. Now, did I get... I didn't get all of these in here, did I? Mark those seams. Those. What else? Uh, oh, those corners, right? Do these... And these. Okay, let's see how this works. Um, let's see, I've kind of forgotten what we have to do. Oh, let me turn this on here. And select these. Oh, oops, let's try that again. Select these right here. So these are the things I need to s still do, right? Well, I don't like what's going on over here. Why why is that happening? Oh, okay. I see. Oh, and we got to do all this up here and on the sides as well. Okay. All right. So for this, let's go ahead and just uh let's select this and then I'm going to turn off seam here. So we get those two windows selected, and let's just unwrap those. Hit G and move those aside. Uh, better uh, deselect these. Grab that, move that over there. Okay. Um, well, we could uh, we could do the sides over here that's probably a good idea and the sides over here we can also do all this up here like that let's go ahead and uv map all of that all right what's all this going on here i don't really like that Ah, that's that. What did I do there? Oh, and this too. So it's ugly and it's awful. So we'll just um, add seams there. And, uh, oh, I see. We should probably add seams here as well. We did on the other corners here. Okay, so now let's try that again. Yeah, I think those are going to come out a lot better now. I mean, and once again, I don't know that anybody's ever going to see this on this side, you know. Oh, we've got those selected here.
Okay. All right, let's go ahead and unwrap those a little better. Okay. So these here have been UV mapped, right? Yeah, those have been done. So let's move those out. Move those up to here, let's say. And then these guys, what are these guys? Uh, the garage door trim and the door. Okay, all right. Let's work on those. Um, we'll grab that edge here and that edge. Nope. Okay, so let's uh, grab these pieces, unwrap those. Good. Can we put them right there? Good, yep, okay. And then this little thing, that's the door, okay. Um, what do we want to do for the door? Really, I think all we need to do is break out the... Uh, the, the window panes because those are really the only things that's going to be a different material than the rest of the door. So let's just select uh, these faces and we'll switch to edge mode and then mark those seams, right? Let's give that a shot. Oh, let's uh, switch to conformal on that one. Yikes. All right. Um, oh, you know what? Let me try and apply the scale and see if that helps at all. Nope. Okay. I don't mind even the crossbars. Oh, well, see, I've got these extra faces in here that aren't needed, you know? And those, I think, are pulling a bit. We can get rid of these. I'll select them over here and then delete them over here. There we go. Now let's select all of that. And let's re-UV map, re map it. Well, that helps out some for that. So I think the window panes and the crossbars are fine. Um, the door, though, not really loving that. So what we can do is go back over here to that orthographic view and just project from view. And that's a lot better. There we go. Okay, so we've got everything pretty much UV mapped. Now we got to put it all back into this zero to one space and get it all the right size. So um, Blender can of course help us with that. I'm going to select everything here and I'm going to go to UV average island scale. So everything's pretty much the same size. I don't like how that's all of a sudden overlapping there. Let me uh, move these apart so they don't do that. There we go. All right. That's better. Okay, so we've got our various pieces here. And, oh, all of these are a, a mess. So what did I do here? That's not nice. Oops. Just going to grab some of these and move them apart because I don't want them to overlap. Okay, so we got those. <coughs> now, we could have... 
Blender pack all of these into the zero to one space. And you know, it may be a little bit easier to try that and then to fix any problems that occur rather than to try and do them all by hand up front. So let's go ahead and select everything and pack it all into the UV islands. There we go. Okay. Now, how does that look? Um, this thing here is upside down. That could be a problem. So let's turn that R180. Do that. I'm going to scale it down just a bit so it fits in there. Um, let's take a look at what the various pieces are. What's this? Oh, let me turn on scene. That's that. That's in the proper orientation. That's on the top. Okay. What about this? That is not in the proper orientation. That really should be uh, turn the other way like R control and turn that 90 degrees yep, like that. So we've got a bit of an overlap there. Um, this doesn't really matter. The top, let's take a look at this. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's on the bottom. That's good. Um, and this trim, That might work. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's just go ahead and grab all of this here. Like that. And let's just shrink it down a tad and move it up. Just gonna pop that right in there. All right, so it's all pretty tight in there but I don't think that'll be a problem. Let's try this. I'm gonna scale it down a smidge. What is this? There we go. And I want that too. Let's just move that out like that. I'm just doing a little bit of re arranging before we take it into, oops, Substance Painter. I accidentally hit H and hid that. Um, all right, I think, I think I'm okay with this. I'm gonna save this. And uh, now let's go back to layout and we get to try and add the color ID to it before we take it into Substance Painter because we got to have something for the color mask to use to split out the various materials. So I'm going to hide this. I don't need that right now. Um, and I'm going to hit the, the division key on the numpad to isolate it. Now let's think about vertex IDs here. Um, well, I guess we want the brick, right? We want the brick and here, and here. Um, as I said, we're probably never gonna see the top, but these are ultimately gonna be brick as well. So I'll go ahead and select those. Um, what else? Well, these guys in here That's all brick in there, too. So I'm just trying to find out or trying to figure out what is going to be a continuous material and what isn't. And I think all of this is going to be a continuous material. Okay. Anything else going to be brick? No, I think that's it. So I'm going to go over to Vertex Paint. Turn on uh, 
what do they call it? Paint mask. It used to be face selection, I think. I'm not sure. So, uh, oh, let's use uh, our colors here. I'm going to just select the green and add that. Okay, so there's the color ID for our brick. Um, let's go ahead and select these up here. That'll be a new vertex color. There we go. The garage doors are going to be their own vertex color, right? Uh, we'll do this color. Um, the door. I think the little um, crossbars will be the same color as the door, right? And in fact, um, let's do all of these, all of the trim around all the windows are probably going to be the same as the door as well, you know? There we go. Uh, back to vertex mode, and let's choose a red for this. There we go. Uh, the windows. Oh, actually, the trim for all of these guys. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I should have split the windows out in the UV map from the trim. Probably should have. Huh. Well, you know what? Let's not worry too much about it. I am going to just select these faces here. And these will be all the same material ID or color ID as the other windows. So let's give this that pink. And then... Um, Let's select these windows. These. Uh, these are the these are going to be pink as well. Yep. Okay. Um, the garage trim. Let's select this. That'll be its own material ID. Oh, you know what I didn't do is I didn't do these things. Huh. There's always something I forget. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's put a color on that. Um, is there a place in the UV map that I could put these guys? Oh, yeah, I could put them right in there. Let's do that. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to grab these guys here and I'm going to join them with the building itself here. There we go. Then isolate it, tab in. So there they are there. Um, so... <laughs> Okay, I think what I want to do is uh, hit Alt-Z and choose one of these edges back here. And then also, well, I'll go ahead and mark that seam. And then also I need to grab that. Don't have anything back there. Good. Let's, let's grab the, an edge back here again. Mark that seam, and we'll do this up here. Okay, so now let's grab these two, and we'll unwrap those. There they are. We'll take them, we'll scale them way down, and plop them right in here. 
There we go. Look at that. Okay. But we need a uh, color ID for those as well, right? So those are gonna be some sort of different thing. They will be the same. Um, let's go back to Vertex Paint. And we'll do this one. All right. Okay. There we go. Now we've got that whole thing UV'd. I don't have that uh, for lease sign yet. I, I, I don't want to deal with that <laughs> right now. Um, all right, so we need to export this out to Substance Painter. All right, it's strange to see Adobe on the Substance Painter splash screen there. All right, let's close that. Here it comes. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and bring it in and see how we did. Oh, I, <laughs> I haven't exported it yet. Well, it's uh, getting ahead of myself there. Okay, so let's export this file, export, FBX, selected objects. Let's, um, I'm going to put it in my exports, and this is going to be warehouse, um, well, this is warehouse building, building, this is O2, warehouse building 2, and then I'm going to, oh, I kind of messed up the numbering schemes for the last one, but that's okay. So this is building number two, we'll call it. All right. Substance Painter. Let's bring in a new one. Uh, here it is, building two. Uh, okay. Here we go. Now, uh, let's bake our textures. I'm going to go with 2048. See how, how this works. All right, I think that's, that's good. Now, let's get rip, rip. Yeah, okay, let's get rid of that. And then let's go ahead and add bricks. Um, do I have bricks that I, I like? Which one did I use for the, I think I used this one for the previous one. Or did I use that? You know what? Let's go out and see if there's something else that I like. We'll see what they have here. So, let's go with brick. All right. <coughs> That's kind of nice. Lexington used terracotta royal range combined what is this oh it's got these long ones well, let's try that one substance downloaded okay and there it is let's drag it into the group it's gonna apply it to everything Let's mask with the color. Select that green. And let's uh, uh, 
Uh, let's see. What do we want to do here? I want to basically make it a lot smaller. And uh, where's my UVs here? No. Uh oh. Oh man. I hate it when I do that. <laughs> Let me put this down here. All right. Now I've got it all mixed up here. Uh, the layers should go up here, right? Under here. Oh man, now I've got it all messed up. Where's my, oh, let me bring this down underneath here, like this. There we go. Okay. All right, now let's see what we can do here. We want to Well, why aren't I seeing what I want to see? Did I mess with... There it is. I had the, uh, the other one selected. Here we go. All right. Let's bring this down like this. Let's try this. I feel like that's a little too small, maybe. Let's go with eight. Uh, that may be okay. Uh, let's see what else I can play. I'll play a little bit of Bob Schneider here. There we go. All right. Um, that's pretty good. Maybe try 8.5. That's a little better, okay. Um, for the top, we were, we are going to see just a little bit of that. I wonder what I want to put up there. Let's um, move this up. Rough. <laughs> Let's try a roof. There we go. Um, what do I want to put up here? Concrete mortar wall. Rust. No. I feel like it should be like a gravel kind of thing. What about that? Let's try that. Yeah, let's try that. So let me... Grab that. Yeah, and then let's see. Something like that, right? That's not too bad. You know, what I think I did with that brick is. Yeah, I put it on the wrong place. Let me delete this or remove this mask. And I want to put that color on the group itself. That's why I was having trouble figuring out where it was because I didn't put it on the group it, itself and it needs to be on that group. Right? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um... What about these? Are these wood or metal? That's a good question. Let me go back over here. Take a look here. They are metal. Yeah, let's do that, okay. So what kind of metal? Um... It's probably that painted metal again and change it to white. Let's try that. Grime. 
garage doors. And let's put that over here. Let's do the color selection on the group this time. There we go. Okay. A um, little bit. Where's that random seed? Here it is. Let's click this and see if we can. Uh, that's not bad. Okay. Uh, let's change the color. I feel like it should be a little bit more. There we go. All right, let's go with that for now. Let's see how that works. I feel like there's more that we can do with that. Um, how about the wood for the door and the window frames? Uh, let's see what we have here. Fence painted. Oh, that was, I don't know what I used that for. Well, let's go back out and see if we can find something out here. Um, painted wood? No. Just planks. There isn't like a plain piece of wood. Let's see. Well. Looking through here, seeing if I can find something. You know, we could make it metal, like it's uh, cheap doors and windows, but if it's old, it would probably be wood, wouldn't it? So, this is interesting. It's completely not appropriate, but I might be able to play with it to see, to get it to do what we want it to do. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> it's completely un inappropriate, but let's give it a try. Um, so let's create a new group. Door and windows. No. Oh, I just, I keep making it a smart material. That's dumb. I see what I was doing. I don't want to do this. I want to do this. All right. I'll get it. I'll figure it out. See, actually, that's not too bad. I mean, that kind of has a sense of old yellow door, you know? Let's see. Anything in attributes that I can play with? Not really. Just curious what this does. I actually don't mind that. As I said, it's completely not appropriate to what we're doing, but... Uh, It's actually okay. Huh. Okay. So now the windows. Oh, and this trim. You know what? I never did that trim. Oh, man. I never did that trim. I never put a, a vertex ID on that trim. All right. Well, that may be have to be for next time here. Um... So what let's do is deal with the windows. And I think what I want to do, let's create a new group here. Window panes and let's 
put that in here. Uh, the pink. All right. Let's get something like this, I think. All right, yeah. Uh, this doesn't need to be quite that shiny. There we go. Okay. Um, and these guys, I think that's going to be rusted. It could be the uh, another painted thing, painted metal. Let me go look at it. Where is that? Yeah, it could be painted metal. Why don't we take a look at that? Why don't we do that? Uh, let's create a group. And what do we call these? <laughs> I don't know. Bumper. There we go. Um... There we go. Let's grab that. Here's that. Now, what color were they? Well, they were white at one point in time, weren't they? I kind of like the yellow, but all right. I'll put it more like this. And then... Um, there we go. You know what? I kind of like the yellow. I'm going to take it over to yellow like this. Yeah, so they have just a different kind of a, a look to them. You know? Uh, let's call this, um, well, that was warehouse one, so I guess we could call this, um, warehouse two. Two. And let's call this. Warehouse building to exterior. There we go. Okay. Now, there's some problems here, I think. Whoa, we've got the trim. And I didn't do a doorknob. And um, I didn't do the trim around the garage windows. But I think I can work on those. I can do what I did before. What I seem to do all the time is create s smart materials for all of this so that we can add things and bring it back in. So I think that's what I'll do. Um, lastly, maybe let's do a metal on the um, trim around the garage doors. Let me do this. Garage door trim. And then I'm going to take that rust. I'm going to do this one. And then I'm going to add it to this right here. Yeah, see, I think I kind of like that for the trim around the garage doors. Yeah. Okay. So I think the next time what let's do is um, I'll add the doorknob and I'll also, while we're in Blender, I'll add a vertex ID to those window trims. Let's see, did I do that? Let's, let's just check real quick. No, I did not. So that does not have a color ID on it. So that's going to be a problem. And that, I mean... Ultimately, that's just going to be a black. Oops. Oh, I need to. Oh. <laughs> I undid that. Uh, let's 
do this. Let me add that back. There we go. Okay. So that's what I'll do the next time is I'll do the trim around those and the, the doorknob and then we'll be pretty much ready to export the textures out and take them into Blender. So I'll see you next time.